played a huge but often forgotten role in Colorado's past. Dr. Colorado is here to share some of the women who have made a really big difference and why history sometimes should be herstory. Good to see you, <laughs> Dr. Colorado. Let's start with the history of Aunt Clara Brown. She's the pioneer black woman who did so much in Colorado. Yeah, perhaps the most amazing of all these women, a former slave, her intelligence and her piety impressed her owner. He freed her. Why was she called Aunt Clara Brown? So many people knew her and loved her, and she was so kind to many. She set up a kindergarten. She helped set up a church. So she was played auntie to a lot of Aww. people. She was much loved, that's for sure. And some notable women, they were very influential here before Colorado was even a state. Um, one was the Native American Chipiti. Chipita, did I Chipita, pronounce that right? Yeah. Okay, tell me about her. She was a Ute Indian, married to Uray, the head chief of the Ute tribe and uh, had been to Washington, D.C. She toured New York City, where the New York Times called her the Queen of the Utes. Uh, uh, yet, after he died in, 18, in 1880, she doesn't live with the Utes, but with the white folks, after she knew them well, mm -hmm. but went out to live with her tribe in Utah. Interesting. And li lived to be like till 1921. Oh my goodness. And talk about what her translation of her name means in the uh, Ute language, Chipita. White singing bird. Oh, we should call you that. <laughs> beautiful, white singing bird. Yeah. <laughs> How about white um, not singing bird? Non -singing a little bird. Oh, <laughs> bad. The, uh, we're all familiar with the Mother um, Cabrini Shrine, which is absolutely beautiful. It's up I-70 near Golden, right? Right. Yeah, it's gorgeous. But what made Mother Cabrini so influential here in Colorado? Well, she's the first uh, American citizen to be can canonized a saint. She's mm -hmm. an Italian immigrant here who was very much interested in the Italian folks who were poorly treated here. She would go down to the mines and find at the bottom of the mines all these poor Italian miners. Mm -hmm. And she said often they didn't, it, if they were killed in the mine explosion, they didn't even bring them up. They just buried them down there underground. Oh my goodness. She founded the schools, orphanages, she did, did a lot, lot of great work. What does it mean to be canonized? That you're declared a saint, officially a saint by the uh, uh, Roman Catholic Church. And I heard recently that they're looking into canonize another Colorado woman, Julia Greeley. Right, she was a Denver resident and often called the Colored Angel of Mercy. She was a black woman, a former slave, who, by the way, her eye was always dripping water because her master, whipping her mother, had accidentally hit her eye with his whip. Oh, my but goodness. she spent her life trying to get stuff. She was poor herself, but she would go begging or go wherever she mm -hmm. could find stuff and bring it to folks. Often she was helping out poor white folks, and they were embarrassed to have a black woman taking care of them, so she would come to the back door. What an so amazing she didn't heart she had. Delivering a, a tricycle or diapers or whatever. So the Catholic Church is now considering canonizing her. Right. Oh gosh, I hope that happens. Molly Brown is probably perhaps the most well-known Colorado woman. Um, remind us again her legacy, what she led to us. Well, a poor Italian, a poor <laughs> Irish immigrant from Hannibal, Missouri, uh, who shows up here in Denver, marries J.J. Brown up in Leadville, and uh, they become millionaires, and she uses that for philanthropy and a lot of her social causes. She ran for the Senate here in Colorado three different times. Oh, I didn't know that. And she helped out with the Ludlow Massacre, the, the tragedy down there was on the scene there. Also worked with Chief, uh, with uh, Judge Ben Lindsay to set up the juvenile court system here. But probably best known for her Titanic Yes, heroism. of course, yes. And another woman, we may not know her, you know, by name, but we should because she was very influential. Talk about Dr. Florence Sabin. Yeah, it's too bad people don't know the name uh, Florence Sabin. Yeah. She was the first Coloradan to be put in the Congress. You know, back in Washington, each state has two of their heroes, and she's the very first one there. Here she is, she's a scientist, and most yeah. importantly, she gets involved with public health, reforms the Denver Health and Hospitals, which she heads, and then goes on to the state of Colorado and transforms Denver and Colorado from having one of the worst public health records to one of the very best. Our great Denver uh, Hospital, Denver Health Today, is her legacy. One woman can make a huge difference. Tell me about Dana Crawford. Yeah, speaking of women that make a difference, yeah. Dana, Dana Crawford sure does. Without Dana Crawford, there wouldn't be a Larimer Square, there wouldn't be a Lodo, mm -hmm. there wouldn't be a Reborn Union Station. All of that revitalization in the Platte Valley wouldn't happen. Here's Dana back in 1965 at the beginning of Larimer Square. 
Now we have about 40 seconds left and your own mother, Dr. Louise Noel, was famous in her own way. How did she become right. my, notable? My own dear Mumsy yes. was a graduate of CU Medical School and became a psychiatrist. I work in public health uh, clinics and her, I never forget her statement, the people who need love the most are the hardest to love. Oh, yeah, that's so true. Mm -hmm. And now I know where you got your good looks. She's a beautiful woman. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Dr. Mm -hmm. Colorado. Have so much knowledge. It's just amazing to listen and learn from you. You can join Dr. Colorado Wednesday, August 2nd at 6.30 p.m. at the Denver Press Club to celebrate the club's 150th birthday. Dr. Colorado will be signing his books that include the landmark Denver Press Club building, U.S. Representative Diana DeJet, and Mayor Michael Hancock will be there. It's a free party. You should be there, too. So make Make sure you join the fun.